Yeah. Tell me about this lovely prefect. The little Ford prefect. Uh, little sit up and beg, we used to call them. E93As or E94As, these ones. I'm not too sure what they call the prefect now. But uh, little prefect, she's a little cracker. Absolutely lovely. Um, used to run these. Our age group just saw the back, back end of these as usable little everyday cars. They were cheap and cheerful. Quite a number of guys of my age had, or maybe just a tiny weeny bit older, ran these as their first car. These and populars and what have you, because they were cheap. Um, Prefect being the four door, simple as that. Prefect four door, popular angler, two door, 1172 engine, common old engine, strong old engine up to a point, as long as you keep plenty of up. Oh, look at that. We got a modification on here, all right, look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh dear, much later carbon, everything put on here. Um, as long as you uh, keep plenty of oil on them, now bear in mind they only hold about four and a half pints maybe of oil. Is that all? much oil. So if you've got a burner and you drop it down, it uses a pint of oil, a pint and a half, oh, you're into trouble, you can run the ends in no time. And they're white metal bearings. Uh, and you can run them in no time at all. So um, whilst they're a nice, strong, tough little engine, we used to put, in, in ours, 100 E's, we used to put an engine in about every six weeks or two months. <laughs> yeah, used to belt the living daylights out of them. Used to buy them at a tenner a piece, up at Wigmore Lane, up at um, Luton. Big row of engines, I remember. And we got used to it, got to learn how to do it. You walk down a row of engines, blokes say, take which one you like. So he took the clean one. He always took a nice clean engine, didn't he? Yeah, put it in. Dirtiest. Next time, there's only one there or something, dirty old engine, put that in. Mm -hmm. So we soon learned, pick the dirty one, like, you know. And I used to put them in of an evening bit of rope and uh, lift them in, two or three of us. Uh, but anyway, nice little car, six volts still this one, as you can see. She's Bonnie, I'm sure we've sold it before. I'm sure we've Yeah, I recognise the registration. Rings of bell, this, yeah. Uh, little um, flamethrower light on there, as it should be. It's uh, lovely, cross fire tyres still, beautiful interior, absolutely beautiful. Look at that for an interior. You cannot get better than that for an interior, that is superb. Headline is beautiful, carpets are lovely. Interior, the seats are all original, all original finish. The most important thing on these reminds me when I see them Bakelite. Bakelite door cappings, Bakelite dashboard. Mm. Now, Bakelite is known for cracking very easy. It's old fashioned plastic, that's what Bakelite is. Uh, and uh, it can crack, you get a bit of sun on it, and it gets a bit brittle, and you sort of knock it, and bang, you've got a crack. Um, so, the, the dashboards used to crack all over the place, all this, everywhere used to crack. Um, but to see one like this, and it's showing 82,000 miles, which I find is amazing, absolutely amazing. If somebody guessed the mileage of this car, I would guess it at like 30,000 miles. It's absolutely amazing. Service sticker put on there, look, from years and years ago. Uh, cracking little vehicle. So a lovely little starter classic. Never been expensive, these little cars. Never, ever have they been costly. Uh, they've always been, start the wrong way, see that? Yep. Uh, they, uh, they've always been the same, they've always been the cheap and cheerful motor. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. They were a bit of a bugger in the winter when you need to spin them over a little bit because it's you know, six volt, not the thing is it really? Um, but they started on the handle real quick, real easy. This is absolutely, look at that, <laughs> cracking. All working, both sides. When they didn't come out, you know, sometimes they'd stick. You'd be going down a road, you'd come out, and you have to bang it like that, and out here it come. Yeah, that's what you've done. Uh, and a lot of them had a little mirror on here. A lot of the older ones, the 30s, had a little tiny mirror. Oh, just so you could see if it was... So you just look in the mirror and see if it come out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bent, you have to go like that. Cracking sure the car. Uh, cracking, beautiful little car. Super, super little period car that uh, I think will cause massive interest. Yeah, I, I love it. I think it's absolutely great. Um, Good. Not over expensive. Yeah, so there you go. So are we going to swap their minis over quick?